The summary view introduced in Hero version 1.2 provides an alternative way of presenting the data of a model at a summary or higher contextual level. It allows the aggregation of similar objects for viewing, selecting and bulk editing and it's a powerful addition to the Hero workflow for all projects, particularly as a QA and optimization tool. The summary view can be accessed in the system doc next to the visual data grid and construction library views or via the keyboard shortcut M. Once visible as per other main views you can change the width of it and you can maximize or minimize the summary view using the docking buttons. The summary view consists of two main tabs the model summary and the assembly summary. The model summary tab is split into numerous sections similar to the data grid from project down through walls, floors, ceilings etc. Each table or section of the model summary shows similar information to the data grid but summarized into groups of similar objects. For example, in the external wall table you will see entries for each unique assembly and insulation combination used within the project. Summary table entries might differ in heights or colors or other attributes but they share the properties listed in that table header. These summary tables allow you to see at a glance the various different combinations of properties throughout the model, allow you to identify any data entry errors, and importantly allow you to do high level group selection and editing within the summary view. So you can select rows within the table and all of the items related to this group will be selected in other views such as the visual or data grid views. And you can also then zoom to the selected objects by clicking the zoom button at the top of the summary view. Likewise, the properties of some of the tables can be changed in a similar fashion to the data grid and this allows a quick and easy method to bulk edit project properties. For example, the window specification of any entries in the window table can be changed using the specification combo box. And this functionality is shared for most tables such as being able to change the assemblies of walls, floors and ceilings or their insulation types within their respective tables. So this is a powerful and quick way for at the end of your project where you might start iterating through various options for your client to quickly change and adjust the model and see its rating impact. The summary view is a dynamic or live view of the project. It's continually updated as you change the model, be it from within the summary view itself or from other views such as the visual view. The exception to this at the moment is the dwelling area table, which currently requires the user to refresh it to update the relevant details in that table. The second summary tab is the assembly tab, which provides a detailed list of all the assemblies and insulation combinations used within the project. Currently, the assembly tab just shows the wall assemblies but will be expanded to floors and ceilings when they have their relevant construction library sections added to. The assembly tab allows you to quickly review all of the wall assemblies in a project, which is useful in particular for checking custom wall assemblies, check they've been created correctly and that the insulation materials are specified and positioned correctly. As per many of the views within Hero, you can export the data from the summary view to the standard three export options of image, clipboard data or CSV file formats by clicking the export button at the top right of the summary view and selecting the required option.